The 1971 Kennedy of dollar in extremely fine condition is not particularly rare and is usually worth slightly above its face value, around $1, 2 dollars. In uncirculated grades such as MS60 to MS65, the value can range from $2 to $25 dollars. Depending on coin's quality and eye appeal, proof versions, especially those in PR69 and PR70, can fetch higher prices, often between $10 to $50. There is moderate demand for these coins primarily among collectors of Kennedy of dollars and those assembling complete sets, while not as sought after as silver issues. The 1971 Kennedy of dollar holds its place in collections due to its historical significance as part of series post-silver era. This coin, as you can see, is in circulated and most likely in extremely fine condition with few large contact marks, mainly this deep gouge on the cheek of the president. Our old coin has pretty pleasing appeal for circulated half. This is circulated 1973 Lincoln scent from my penny collection. Surfaces display scattered tiny contact marks. Design elements are weakly struck. Most likely the coin was impressed by a worn die. Towards the edge we witness tiny bits of copper red luster, but just faded remnants, not fully red. It also comes with railroad dreams seen on the western color. The 1973 P. Lincoln cent is very common as US Mint struck over 3.7 billion examples for circulation. Finding an example up to about MS65 condition is very easy in MS66 condition. They are much scarcer, but still very common overall. In MS67 it's much more difficult to find. Anything grading higher than MS67 is considered rare. The 1973 Lincoln cent is not particularly rare and is usually valued close to its face value and around 1 to 5 cents in circulated grades. In uncirculated conditions such as MS60 to MS65, it can be worth between 1 to 3 dollars. Higher grade examples, particularly those with exceptional strike and eye appeal, may command slightly higher prices up to 10 dollars. Although not a key date or rare issue, the 1973 Lincoln cent is still collected by enthusiasts of the series and, tho and those looking to complete a full set of modern cents. The demand for this coin is relatively modest compared to rarer or more unique Lincoln cents. According to PCGS, most circulation strike Washington quarters from 1980s were struck in very poor quality. For some issues, it's even difficult to find examples in MS65 condition or higher, despite hundreds of millions of examples being produced. The 1989D is one of the tougher dates, although MS65 examples can be purchased inexpensively, raw or graded. They are difficult to find in mint sets or rolls in this condition or higher. In MS67 conditions, they are underrated as they are really scarce with less than a few hundred examples known. According to PCGS, in MS67 conditions, they are truly scarce with less than a dozen known and very few existing in higher condition. One of the most valuable specimens was sold in 2022. This MS68 graded quarter dollar ended up selling for $1800. The 1994 Lincoln cent was struck by the billions, making it very common in most grades. Only in MS68 is it scarce. In MS69 or higher, it is very difficult to find. The 1994 Lincoln cent is relatively common and usually valued at just a few cents above its face value, around 1 to 5 cents in circulated grades. In uncirculated conditions such as MS60 to MS65, it can be worth between 1 to 3 dollars. 
Coins and higher grades with exceptional strike quality or notable features may fetch a bit more, up to around $5. While not rare or particularly valuable issues, the 1994 deal in Clonsand is still collected by those completing sets or looking for well-preserved examples. Demand for this coin is modest, mainly driven by collectors of modern Lincoln sense. One valuable specimen graded them a 69 red, a superb gem and threshold of numismatic perfection, was sold for over $5,000 at Great Collections Auction. The 1968 the Roosevelt Dam, like its 1969 the counterpart, has varying values depending on its condition, whether it has full bands designation. In circulated grades, 1968 the Roosevelt Dam is generally worth around 10 to 20 cents. In uncirculated conditions, such as MS60 to MS65, its value ranges from $1 to $5. For the full bands designation, which indicates that the bands on the torch on the reverse are visible and well defined, the value increases. An MS65 full bands examples can be worth 10 to 20 dollars. With higher grades or coins with exceptional eye appeal, potentially fetching more, collectors of Roosevelt Times value the full bands feature for its indication of superior strike quality. PCGS reports 11 specimens in MS68 grade with current guiding price of $850. Of course, this price tag is for high-end gem with full bands definition. And here is uncirculated superb gem in opened mint cello for my collection. 1980s using the Anthony dollar in MS64 or maybe MS65 condition. This lustrous gem is sharply struck and displays minimal contact marks. The largest distraction is that the 1980d using the Anthony dollar in uncirculated condition can vary in value based on its quality. Generally, an uncirculated 1980D using the Anthony dollar is worth between $1 to $5. Higher grade examples such as those in MS65 or better can command $10 to $20 if the coin has exceptional quality or eye appeal. While the 1980D using the Anthony dollar is relatively common, collectors still seek well preserved specimens for their sets. Thanks for watching our deep dive into fascinating coins. Your support helps us bring more exciting content and numismatic insights. Have you encountered any interesting error coins? Or have any stories to share? Leave a comment down below.